Hello guys and welcome your wonderful faces back to some more FIFA 17 player reviews and we are looking at the 84 rated Ericsson today and I did pack him and last year I didn't really think an awful lot he had a couple of informers here and there but he wasn't that outstanding player but on FIFA 17 as it is a new engine I was looking forward to trying him out so if you want to see more reviews from me make sure to support the video drop a like that'd be fantastic if you are needing ultimate team coins to afford players like Ericsson head over to FIFA ultimate team coins.com links will be found just below in the description Use the code Fuji, get yourself a discount, or if you are wishing to purchase games, head over to G2A and also use that code Fuji. So if you did watch my video on Callum Wilson, you would have seen that I was playing Christian Eriksen in the side, and some of these stats that he's able to bring to your team are actually incredible. 84 rated with 76 pace, which is pretty quick, 76 shot, 84 passing, 84 dribbling, 44 defense, and 59 physical. He does stand at a height of 5 foot 10, and in total, I played five games, scoring nine goals, and receiving five assists. And I did tell you guys, the majority of my goals come from my so I really do rely on someone that can finish that is just a really well-rounded beast and look at that He does have that five-star weak foot four-star skills and he looks very good So without further ado, let's check his in-game stats So I'm really liking the look of Ericsson's in-game stats the 85 vision Which is just incredible the 81 balance the 81 reactions and also 87 stamina stamina in this game is very important And I didn't feel that he was affecting me in the second half. He just continued to run he was continuing to make space so I was very happy with that but if we flick over to the next screen we will see that he has very nice ball control crossing curve dribbling he is that well-rounded beast not only can he pass but he can shoot as well 87 free kick accuracy the first clip you're going to be seeing is a free kick anyway his long shots are pretty damn overpowered even though it only suggests that he has a 79 long shot but like I was saying in the squad screen five star weak foot four star skills that makes him seriously dangerous Let's check him out on the pitch. So Ericsson's price at the time of recording is under 10,000 coins, which is just ridiculously low. Surely when people start to get the full release and with him being in the, in the Premier League as a cam, he's going to be expensive. Under 10k, and when people do start to realise how good he actually is, I think he is going to be going up in price. And one of the reasons why I like him so much is his vision and passing. That whole execution is actually outstanding. And then he's able to add the well-roundedness to his game, which is his finish. He has very accurate long shots. Like if you give him too much space around the edge of the area, it's going in. Finesses, shooting a cross goal, and even his free kicks, a very nice player. And with um, everyone on ultimate team, I feel that they have these intelligent runs built in where it's just so overwhelming for your opponents. But with Ericsson, he just does it slightly better than everybody else. He has that little bit more space to then either set a pass to somebody out on the wing or he's able to take the shots on. I was thoroughly enjoying him. Now, as we can see in the cons, it does have heading and he's not really someone that's going to be winning too many uh, balls in the air for you he is in that aerial threat but what was close to be put in that box was strength and also agility but I thought that was kind of harsh because his overall dribbling and ball control is fantastic so I didn't really want to no, I just didn't really want to put that down it's kind of harsh because then that sort of overshadows how good he actually is like for example he was needing to get that shot away he was under pressure there and he still manages to find the back of the net and he's just so smooth to use and he's dangerous in front of goal I was I didn't really really think he was going to be as good as he was because on FIFA 16 I wasn't like a huge fan of the card but on FIFA 17 it just goes to show you really need to try all these players again because you just don't know who works and who doesn't with these new game mechanics but I found his pace to be good I found his dribbling his passing his shooting and with that five star weak foot it really does come into play and it's dangerous you can pick up a lot of goals with that so thanks ever so much for watching guys drop a like on the video if you want to see more player reviews from myself is he worth the coins without a doubt five star and I definitely think you should buy him for 10k. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Team out. Peace.